In this video, you will learn how to efficiently manage candidates in Personio. Meet Charlotte, a hiring manager who is taking care of the recruiting activities in her team. A position has recently opened up in her organization, and she's delighted at the amount of applications they received. Going through the applications, she sees that a candidate who meets the requirements has been in the recruiting stage for too long. Charlotte decides to schedule an interview with Ben as soon as possible, using the Smart Interview Scheduling option. She invites Joan and Petra to the interview, as Ben could be in their team if he gets the job. Personio allows you to involve individual employees in the recruiting process. These recruiting roles can be configured in the account settings. For Joan and Petra to be able to provide adequate feedback, Charlotte assigns them the recruiting role of interviewer, which allows them to see the candidate's profile but hide sensitive data. Then she clicks Set up a scheduling link to set a range of dates within which Ben can choose from, adds a duration for the interview and some buffer times before and after the interview. Because Ben is currently based in a different country, Charlotte chooses Google Meets as the interview method. To ensure that Joan can give adequate assessment of Ben's interview, Charlotte selects that Joan should fill in the evaluation form for personal interviews after the interview. She emails the link to Ben via an email template. Inserting the scheduling link into the email body. The interview status will show as scheduling link sent. When Ben clicks on the link in the email, he can choose when he is available. Once a slot is selected, a confirmation email will be sent to all participants and the status of the interview will change to scheduled. The interview is now scheduled. The interview with Ben goes great. Joan fills out the evaluation form with her comments. Charlotte looks at the summary of Ben's evaluation to get an aggregated evaluation overview. She clicks on Joan's evaluation to expand it and to see the summary and rating as well as the key takeaways. Ben had a great interview. Charlotte moves on to prepare an offer. She can send offers with or without a contract by populating the relevant information such as hire date and salary. or send a document with an e-signature if her organization has them enabled. Ben's offer is ready to go. Once the offer has been created, the decision overview is displayed. Here you can see the details of the offer by clicking on Show, Hide Offer Details, and also view or download the created PDF documents. As long as the offer is in the phase created, you can edit it. If Ben declines the offer, she can click Offer Declined and the status changes. Since Ben accepted the offer, she clicks on Offer Accepted. Ben is now hired and the position can be archived and closed. 
a new employee profile with the status onboarding is automatically created and pre-filled with important attributes such as first name, last name and position. She can also manually add additional employee attributes such as birthday or weekly hours into Ben's profile. Congratulations, you can now manage candidates in your Personio account. Happy recruiting!